in the end, it's all about incentives and supervision and standards and guardrails. I wouldn't say regulation necessarily is the key answer to all of those things. We need to have a framework as to what is okay and what's not. And that was never done in social media. And that is a huge mistake. If we do the same in AI, we won't be here in 2050 because the AI will be the ones that's running the regulation. <laughs> so it's one thing to build powerful tools with AI and what I call IA, intelligent assistance, and to improve processes and do what SAP and IBM and all the other guys are doing. And it's another thing to build a digital world or digital humans. That's another thing altogether. And I think if we create a framework and we have benefits, if you play along and if you're within the framework, like the European AI Act may be overreaching, I don't know, it's hard to say, but the idea of red lines, AI red lines is a good idea. We're going to agree internationally that we don't let the AI run the nuclear weapon system. That would be probably a good idea. And so we have these red lines, like we have in all industrial manufacturing processes, there's things that we don't do because they're dangerous. And we need the same for AI. And currently we're not doing that. Currently it's flat out gold rush for whoever invents XYZ first. That reminds me a lot of the Manhattan Project, this kind of idea of we'll be first and then we use it and the other guys out. And that won't work here because the only winner here is the AI. Right. Because it'll be so smart, it'll circumvent everything. And so we should remain positive and say we need to embrace technology and use AI as a tool. And to make a good tool, a power tool, really, we need rules. And we need agreement on what it's supposed to do and who is in charge. And first of all, as I always say to my industrial industry clients, keep the human in the loop.